Hello viewers. After a long time, I decide to upload video on my channel regularly. I changed my channel name to Webinuxes, and I am Siam Arnuf, a senior full-stack web and mobile app developer. Today, I will show how to implement login to Facebook into any React and Next.js application with server verification. So here is my Visual Studio code opened. Very first, I need to create a Next.js app. Go to Terminal and follow the step for installing the project. Give your project name here and keep following. Go to your project and start the server. Then we need to clean up some code. We use a package for implementing client-side login with Facebook button. Go to your browser and search for React Facebook login. This package is written with TypeScript and very popular. Go to your code editor and prepare the environment for using the package. Follow the step. We need to use Facebook app ID here for creating AP on Facebook. Follow the instruction. Give your Facebook password and continue.
go to app setting and copy the app ID. Add custom button for adding own style. So I think I forget to install the package. Install the package and try again. So now button appears successfully. Let's see what we can see on the console as response. So we are seeing here, Facebook login is not working. The message is saying to enable the email scope. So go to Facebook and enable the scope. So we need user ID and access token from the response for server verification. The error you are seeing is from Facebook. It's saying to run request from HTTPS, but my server is running on HTTP localhost. It will be fixed when you deploy it with SSL. Now place API request for server verification. We can add success and error message below the button. Okay, we are done with client environment. We need to add API route now for server verification. So we are getting user ID and access token sent from client side. So I'm copying the graph Facebook API URL. I will provide it in the description.
Okay, try it again. We are seeing the data returned from Facebook. Here you will set all information. You can store data into database with auth function. So if you want to me create another video for data logic and auth functionality, comment now. I will create separate video for each database. Finally, if you need me for your next project, hire me today. I am available for my any kind of web and mobile app project. So for keep your eyes to see next video. Don't forget, for subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for getting future notifications.